Okay, I just wanted to take a minute and go over a couple of best practices for you. You have in your hands a fantastic tool to add friends to your account, targeted friends of people that you want to network with in your business or for whatever purpose you have. However, like any tool, it can be misused. So I want to give you some ideas and suggestions so that you can use this tool for maximum productivity without crossing that line into annoying or spam or issues, okay? Because people can report you, people can get upset at you, perhaps Facebook could get upset at you, um, and that's not the tool, that's the way you use it, okay? So I want to talk about a couple of things. One, make sure the people that you're targeting are actually people that you can network with, okay? Someone that you could have a conversation with and discuss things with. And when you're friending them, watch how many you do. You're not going to go into, into a group in Facebook and add friend, add friend, add friend, add friend, add friend all the way down for everybody in the group. You just wouldn't do that, um, at least not quickly. You might do a few of them because it's a group that you have people to network with and then develop a relationship with them and then add a few more. But you're not going to go in there and add hundreds of people at once just to add people to Facebook. Since you wouldn't do that naturally, please don't use the tool to do that. OK, your best goal, if you use the keyword functions, is to find people that you connect with. Maybe it's an owner of a business. Maybe it's a, a manager or a coach or something like that. And use those little great keywords that are under the name. Some groups are very prominent with those. Then, you know, those are people you can network with. If you're going to network with everyone in there, OK, do it slowly, you know, do it, do it slow. Don't do it every three minutes. Don't let it run 24, seven, eight days a week. Okay. Um, have it, you know, go at a, at a reasonable pace, especially if your account's not used to doing a lot of friends. And as far as the message goes, you don't want to spam them. Nobody likes to open their messenger and say, Hey, I have something that'll help you. Here's my link. Nobody likes that. You don't like that. Right? So why would anyone else like that? Your best approach when you're doing that initial messaging is to introduce yourself, let them know that you saw them on some groups, that you have things in common and that you'd like to network with them. And then I recommend a conversation starter. Okay, I made a training video today for one of my groups that I train, and I used a photography or a video marketers group as an example, and they were talking about cameras to use and things like that. Well, if that's your niche, and I'm just using this as an example, and you're targeting people that know things about that niche, a good question might be, hey, are there any, is there any new equipment out there? Are there any, any new cameras uh, out there, video cameras that you're considering or that I should know about? This is something that people love to talk about, right? If that's their niche, that's their passion, that's their business, they will talk about that. And if that's a business you're targeting or a niche you're targeting, then you should be able to talk about that also. If not, then <laughs> start studying up on your niche. But you can get into a conversation with these people. Then it becomes very natural. Hey, I have, you know, here's something that helped me. And you can show them whatever it is that you have to offer them, um, whatever your business or service might be. But then it becomes part of a natural, actual conversation. All right. That's a much better way to approach people. Um, it's the way that you do it normally when you're out there on Facebook. So why would you get a tool and do any different? But I see people get this tool and then they just start spamming people. And, and that's not that's not what the tool's really designed to do. OK, it's just designed to make you more productive. A really effective way if we're talking about best practices is to use the posts feature. So go into a group, find a post where people are commenting on it. And those people that are commenting on it are your targets and then add friends to that post. Now, there may not be as many people. You may be in a group of 25,000 people. That post may only have 35 responses. So you're only going to send 35 requests out. But they're targeted. They're people that you could get into a conversation with. They're people that are active. They didn't just join the group because they were curious or they wanted to learn. They're active. These are your, are your people to network with, to converse with, to engage with. So just some food for thought as you get into it. Just remember, it's a tool like anything else. A hammer can be used to build a house. It can be used to bash your neighbor over the head, okay? Um, it's not the tool's fault, whichever happens to it. It's yours. Either you do good with it or you do bad with it. And, and this tool that you have to help you go find friends to network with and reach out to them and begin that conversation is just that. It's a tool. So use it appropriately. If you're not sure and you have questions, reach back out to us. Okay, we'd be happy to, to converse with you on that. And um, otherwise, go have fun. Um, remember to delete your pending requests from time to time. If people aren't responding, 
Um, Facebook doesn't like to see a buildup of those because then they say, well, why are all these people not responding to the request? And you don't want them to go, well, let's limit. He can only send 10 messages a day from now on until he fixes that. Um, so keep that number under 150, as I believe I mentioned in, in the other video. Um, if not, I wouldn't let your friend requests get too high. You're pending ones out there. And keep them targeted. Keep them friendly. And please, please, please do not spam people with your link at the beginning of a conversation. Okay. Thank you very much. Best to you in your marketing. And I hope you find uh, this tool extremely valuable and very helpful in your business. Thanks.